Hi there everybody. I'm going to do a review now on, on something that us folks in the northern climates love to have during the, uh, during the winter months. I'm actually going to do a review on a snow plow. Um, actually, what it is, it's a snow bear personal snow plow. I actually bought this back in, okay, see if you can see it, well that says 2004. Um, I actually bought it at Walmart. Uh, snow bear, they actually make uh, snow plows for several different, let's say, under several different names. This one was uh, called a Pro Shovel. So what you do essentially is that you go in, you purchase the plow, in this case Pro Shovel is orange. There are different brands that are different colors. I believe the actual Snow Bear brand is actually yellow. They also make a black one and I think a blue one as well. So you go in and you uh, pick up your plow. I got mine at Walmart. And with that comes this big contraption here. I'll get in a little more detail on what that is. Then you contact uh, Snow Bear at their 1-800 number and you tell them what type of vehicle that you have and then they send you the bracketry. Now I originally purchased this for a um, sidekick and what came in the package was, were these brackets. Um, gee whiz, can't remember if the cross member came or not or if it came in the package from the store. But anyway, these are the main things that they send you. Uh, and I'll show you in a little bit how it, it mounts to the vehicle. They also include with the uh, with the plow a great set of detailed instructions, lots of pictures. It was very easy to put together. Um, what I do every year is I take the main portion of the plow, this piece here, and take it off the, take it off the plow uh, for storage in my garage. And every late fall, I put it back together and put it on my vehicle. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to uh, review the different parts and show you how it goes together and what it looks like. This here is the actual frame that mounts up to the vehicle. Uh, I'll show you the actual uh, bracketry on the vehicle, but these, this here and the other one over there actually slide onto two uh, rods that are mounted to the vehicle. A pin goes through here and that holds it to the vehicle. Uh, we have a winch, a 2,500 pound winch with electrics, uh, and that raises the plow up and down. And we have these three uh, attachments here actually go on to the plow right here, there, there, and there. Um, when I actually ordered the, the plow mounts, I ordered these uh, shoes. They were an extra, I think, maybe 30 or 40 bucks or something. But they're, they're great to have. Also, on the top of the plow, I actually mount these little uh, plastic rods. They stick up maybe three feet. They bolt into right there, so you can gauge where your, where your plow is cutting. Um, we have springs. Uh, they allow for some flexing in the uh, plow. I'll show you how they work. And what came with mine were these, one there and one there. They're actually roller stands for the plow to uh, lay on so you can roll it around your garage. So I'm just going to put this together now and, and show you how it goes. So with everything on the floor, um, I usually I lift this up and take off the springs. Just look on later. I lift it up. This is about, oh, maybe 100 pounds. And I'll lay those slots on over the holes like that. And then I'll put in the pins to hold it in place. So with the bracket in the, uh, say, the upright position, I usually just put the two springs on. They just go on an eye bolt there and just loop into the plow there, one on either side. That's just to stop it from tipping back. And I take uh, this pin, this applied pin, and as you can see, on either side of the bracket, uh, there, on either side of the plow, there's a part of the bracket. And that goes, there's holes there, so that pin goes in through there. And I just, you know, wiggle the bracket a bit, and it slides through. I take a, a washer. Go on over 
and there's a hole in the pin uh, which a little split pin goes through. So you just slide that through and just give it a little twist around. Then you grab a pair of pliers. And you bend out the split pin so it won't come apart. And that's how the plow is held together. You'd add it in three locations right there, that one, and that one. And then it's, uh, it's bolted to the, the, the bracketry is bolted to the plow. And that's basically the hardest part. And now I'll show you the, the rest of the bits and pieces. Next I install the, I guess the roller caddy uh, set of wheels. This one is pivots. This one here is fixed. And this allows me to move the uh, plow around the garage floor quite easy. If you have a level surface, it's great. If it's crushed stone or gravel or anything, you're gonna, it's not going to be as easy. Um, the plate there, belong to it, goes underneath the cutting edge. And it uh, goes on either side of the bracketry right here with a pin to uh, hold it in place. Um, that makes it uh, just you know, stay there while I'm uh, rolling the plow around. So next I'll just uh, lower it down and uh, take up the springs, add those, uh, those little whip antennas, uh, and then I'm pretty much ready to install it on the vehicle. So here's the spring. Um, this allows the blade to actually bend the tip forward. It actually allows it to pivot on these points if I hit something hard and it, it pulls the blade back in place. So right now it's pretty loose. Um, so I'll just tighten up this bolt here uh, for that one and also do the same on the other side. Um, do I have a specific torque? Uh, no, not really. I, only, I do it until this is tight. And then during my first plow, if I notice that it's bending forward too often, then I'll just tighten this up, uh, up a little bit more. Right here is the uh, plow guide. It's actually a little plastic piece of pipe with a threaded metal end on it and a little black cap. This here um, actually just goes into the hole in the top of the plow on the edge, one on that side and one on that side over there. Actually allows you to see where your blade is when you're uh, when you're plowing. So I'll pop that on, then I'll show you the bracket for actually uh, pivoting the blade. This here is the actual handle that allows you to pivot the blade. It, it goes down here and this handle actually pivots right there on that bolt and it's connected to this rod that goes back here into it bolts into this piece of round metal which actually goes out through a hole in this piece of channel. Um, this channel has three holes into it. One up here, there you go, one back here, and the middle one. Those are your three positions. So what you do is you take the handle, you push forward, and then that pulls that out of the hole, and that allows you to slide it back and forth the channel. Where it actually pivots is right there. So this plow only has a, an electric up and down, but other than that, it's it's quite great. It's no big deal to hop out of the vehicle and adjust the left and right when when it's necessary. So here you have the plow all put together. Uh, it took me maybe oh 20 minutes to pull it all together. Now it's ready to mount to the vehicle. Uh, and remember, this, you know, when it was bought new, it was bright orange. This is seven years old, so all the pitting and all the little bit of rust, is a surface rust on it, is from a seven-year-old plow. And although it's a little bit rusty, uh, it's still in great shape. Um, just to show you the back. That's all the attachments. And just to show you how easy it is to roll around on the cart, I'll just give it a little push with my foot. So that's how easy it is to move around the garage. And one interesting thing I just, just noticed is that, okay, I don't know if you can see it, there we go. 
Oh well, it's upside down from this angle, but Canada. So it is proudly made in Canada. Little welding there. C A N A D A. Nice touch, no bear. So now I'll uh, pull in my vehicle and uh, show you how it mounts up.